I'm gonna hit him with bots where it's not gonna knock him out. So he keeps feeling it. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna punish his ass. Easy work. Hey, easy work, man. Easy work. I'm the top dog. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? It's fight week. Javante Tank Davis versus Rolando Romero, the grudge match. It's going down. Hit that like button for your boy. Give me that HBO special. That's to help a brother out special. We're in the road to 20,000 subscribers. But Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley Romero is going down. And it's been a lot of talks about how this fight will play out leading up until this point. This is the second time that this fight was about to go through and now it's finally going down may 28th this saturday and tank davis been training like a madman for rolando romero rolando romero also been training like a madman but rolando romero also been talking a whole lot of trash they don't like to give away their game plan but what do you expect tank's game plan to be it sounds like you think he's just he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna run like a bitch because he's a bitch same way he did it with pitbull cruz who is a smaller man than him and, and, and and look what he did. He just ran around scared the entire time. So you think you, you're going to chase after and knock him out in the first round? He scared round? the Latinos. But how, how does he walk right into something if he's running away? And now, Tank Davis himself haven't said too much going into this fight. You know, we from the city, the one. It won't matter. It's not going to work. Stuff like that, right? Tank ain't said too much. But one thing he did say that he's looking to punish Rolando Romero. Of course, Tank Davis and they had some words at the press conference. They just worrying about power. That's all they worrying about. They ain't worrying about nothing else. Keep talking about knocking him out. <laughs> you see his nose, right? They motherfucker take the same shit. Yeah. I hit him with one of the knees. He's going to knock his whole nose off. Like, look at his nose. <laughs> and bullet. We know what bullet do. You don't know shit about me. Yeah, we know that none of your fighters got skills. We know that for sure. You're going to sleep, We child. know that. You we know that. Sleep. We know that for okay. sure. You better take a look. Better up. look at the list that I have. Who? Name, Name them. I, I got, got this too. Name them. <laughs> hey, listen. Name them. You getting beat the fuck up, bro. At the Name end of the em. day, this is Rolling versus Trash. Rolling. And, and you, you trash. Your trash. Ass ass. You Nobody trash. cares about your the championships. Whole None of that. Shut the, the fuck up and get knocked out. That's it. Ooh. Throw the whole... Yo ass out away. the way. Y'all some Don't amateur motherfuckers away. that got lucky in the pros. You trash. But now the fight is finally about to go down. We about to see what's going to happen. We're going to see who's going to knock out who because I just don't see this fight making it the full duration. The full 12 rounds. I just don't see it happening. Early on, fans questioned this fight. Why is Tank fighting Roly? This fight don't make too much sense. This is a stupid fight for boxing. Things of that nature, right? And realistically, if you look at Tank Davis in his career, it really don't make too much sense, right? Tank Davis should be a three-division world champion, unified champion. He should have multiple titles, right? But here he is at 28, 27 years old, fighting Rolando Romero. In my opinion, it's a high-risk, low-reward type of fight, especially considering the circumstances surrounding the fight. You know, Tank Davis, he doesn't necessarily know what's going to happen if this fight makes it to the 12th round, right? If it makes it to the 12th round, Tank Davis don't know if the, the, the judge is going to swing his, his direction. If it's a very competitive fight, if it's a fight where Tank Davis can't really get his shots off, if it's a fight where Tank Davis breaks his hand again or breaks a finger again, it could be very interesting for Javante Tank Davis. Rolando Romero says he's a bitch and that he's scared of Latinos. Rolando Romero been saying so much. If he loses this fight, if he gets embarrassed, if he gets knocked out, the loss is going to be two times greater than it would have normally have been if he had kept his damn mouth shut. But there's some things that I've seen that Rolando Romero may do in this fight, right? And for what he lacks for in foot speed, he has terrible foot speed. Um, his feet ain't too good. He got two left feet, right? But what he makes up for that is tenacity, punching power. And I've seen some few things that him and Bullet was doing that he may use in a fight against Tank, considering Tank Davis will likely be using his legs in this fight. Um... His arms, his hands. He's going to be using his arms probably to try to deflect a lot of Tank's shots to get in on Tank. Really, all Roley wants to do is get his hands on Tank Davis. That's all he wants to do. He don't really care about anything Tank's going to bring to this fight. All he wants to do is put his hands on a smaller man. And we're going to see if Roley can do it, right? 
But Tank Davis been training like a madman for this fight. To be honest with you guys, I don't think I ever seen Tank training this hard for a fight. That goes to show you that Tank Davis taking this dude super seriously. It's a grudge match. And it's a lot of bad blood between these guys. These two guys really, really don't like each other. It's been a lot of bad blood even before this fight got announced. You know, a lot of trash talk, a lot of this and that and third. You know, a lot of a lot of the guys, younger guys, don't think too much of Rolando Romero. You know, so yeah, um, this is gonna be a very good fight, very interesting fight. I think fans may be a little bit underestimating Rolando Romero a little bit, right? Of course, it's Tank Davis. Tank Davis is a stud. Uh, we've been seeing him for a long time now. Tank Davis has an abundance of talent, skill, and now he's putting in the hard work. So yeah, I expect to see the best Javante Tank Davis that we've seen, right? But Rolando Romero, I also expect to see the best Rolando Romero we've seen. Yeah, he may not be the more skilled guy, but for who he is as a fighter and what we know of him as a fighter, he looks to seem to have leveled up. His back looking stronger. He's looking a lot bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. Seems like he even got a lot of energy, so the weight cut is going good, right? So he's going to be the much, much bigger man in this fight. It could work to his advantage or it could work to his disadvantage, right? If he's able to take Tank's power, this fight will be very interesting, you guys. If Tank Davis isn't able to hurt Rolando Romero, this fight will be very interesting, you guys. But if Rolando Romero isn't able to stand up to Tank's power, his skill set, the things that Tank Davis bring in a fight as a fighter, Rolando Romero wouldn't make it past the seventh round. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.